People are talking about the Black Star St. James and how light it is. Literally, it's a bag of shopping, guys. It's mental and a powerhouse of tone. too hot today i've got to tell you guys it's 40 degrees celsius outside that's never happened in the uk before and i am hating it windows are open if you hear the odd car go by or the odd pedestrian i'm sorry about that and i haven't turned on a fan because you would hear it <laughs> help as soon as i'd found out that the st james had been released knowing it was the lightest 50 watt head in the world and i love black star amps anyway I had to give this a go. Some of you probably don't know this, but I've tried so many Black Star amps in the past. I've tried the Series 1 200, 100, the HT Club 40, the HT Metal, the HT 5, the HT 1, I can go on. And the ID Core stuff as well. I had an ID Core beam for a little while. Not only is it super light, the head is 6.7 kilos. I don't know what the equivalent would be in pounds, probably just under 1,500 pounds. 1,500 pounds, that's what it retails for in price, but 15 pounds in weight. As I said in the introduction, it literally is a bag of shopping. It's super light and dead handy. Dead basic too. You have two channels, clean and super dirty. The dirty channel is really cool actually. They've got two different voicings. You have the American voicing and the British voicing. It's now done as a toggle switch as opposed to a blend switch. They used to have on most Blackstar amps, I don't know if they've just done away with it, but the ISF feature, which allowed you, as I say, to blend between American and British voicings. I'm not going through every single feature today, I wanna to keep it brief, but if you want to see a really good in-depth demo of all the cab simulations and all that stuff, go and watch Ola England's demo. There is a link in the description box below. You have USB recording compa uh, compatibility, I should say. You have DI out, XLR out, effects loop, all of that stuff all built in. And one thing that is really, really cool with this as well is you have a uh, built-in reactive load, which enables you to have a really nice, silent, disturbance-free recording session. So ideal for the studio musician as well. It caters to everyone. And one thing that I really like about this too, depending on how you like to record or how you like to set things up as well, the cab, has on the back, oh, I can't quite reach, it's just brushing up against this other amp I've got behind it here. You can choose between an open and closed cab as well, which is really, really cool. Should 6L6 tubes not be to your taste, there is an EL34 version of the head available, as well as combos as well. All of them built to be super lightweight and portable. I'm telling you, it's well worth the investment and it will be a friend to you for a very long time. It's a game changer. I am going to be changing up my guitars a fair amount throughout this review, just for fun, really. I'm starting off on my Charvel DK24 two-point. It's got lower output Seymour Duncan's in. You've got a full shred and an Alnico 2 Pro, but also got some cool single coil sounds in. But also for fun, I'm going to go over to my baritone to satisfy those of you who enjoy like a drop A moment, for example. So that's what will be happening. Just to let you know as well, in case anyone notices a difference, I'm going to be recording this tomorrow because it today it is just too hot good morning you joined me after virtually it wasn't even sleep it didn't get below 25 degrees last night in the uk at night it's horrible anyway it's time to play so what we've got going on is my st james that i have on loan with the sm57 in front of it that runs into my thr32 that you can see on the floor that's on a flat signal and that is serving as my recording interface since I don't have a focus right or anything like that. And that's going straight into my laptop, which is recording into Cubase. Let's have a go. Hopefully I can get my chops up today. Knackered. <laughs>
As you can probably tell, I had a lot of fun testing this. It's a superb little amp. I really, really love it. And thank you very much to Blackstar once again for sending it out to demo. I really wish I could keep it. Absolutely awesome. Fulfills all of my needs. You've got the shimmering clean sounds, the massive high gain sounds, two different flavors of it. And if you dial it back, you get the classic rock stuff. This amp is for everyone. And as I said in the previous little bit of chatting I did yesterday, there is an EL34 version available as well if you prefer that style of tube, if you like. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more Blackstar amps on the channel, please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and what you think of this amp. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.